So upstairs, Kenny just gave me the full read um, about how my taste in men is shit. Um, even if I met one, where are they going to be in six months? Nowhere, because they're all da da da. Like he's just going in. Someone must. Someone must have. Someone must have did some shit to him. We'll find out. Anyway, I pay it no mind. Yeah, I know I have shit taste, but honestly, I really don't. This last one, oh, he was a motherfucker. He was a con artist. I'm going to tell this story on YouTube. Not saying any names. Two months in, he tells me, oh, yeah, by the way. Okay, I just want to tell you before you hear it from anyone else. I, went, I did 12 years for murder. I can't make this shit. I'm having lunch at Houston's in New Jersey. Route 4, he tells me this at lunch. Casually tells me this. This is Mr. Faked. Everything was an act with him. You talk about a narcissist textbook. Prayed over the meals. Didn't curse. Oh, he was a dirty, dirty scum trash motherfucker. Like, when I say low. Took me to see a $1.5 million house over in Alpine. New construction. I mean, heated marble floors. My dream home. Full outdoor kitchen. It had a little mini stage in the basement. Everything was marble. It had a bar built in in the basement. Home theater. Everything. This house was sick. With the dual staircases when you come in. Beautiful. This motherfucker took me to see this house three times. Come to find out he had a forged approval letter for $4 million because his friend owned a mortgage company. Everything was a lie. Pretending he was about to give the down payment. <laughs> the whole time he had a bitch living with him in his house in Atlanta and her son by somebody else. He was with her on and off for 10 years. He was with her the whole time. Meanwhile, the whole family was in on it. They knew about her and they were all smiling my face. He took me to his niece's christening. So, you know, you're not thinking he has a girlfriend because they're all meeting you and he's bringing you to a family function. Oh, no. They were all in on it. They were friends with the girl. Sick. That's not. And I'm telling you. How sick do you got to be just to do these things, just to do them? Like wasting the realtor's time, wasting my time, all kind of sick shit. Like living in a fantasy world. This is a sick motherfucker. Like when I say sick, sick. Um, I'm going to tell the whole story on the YouTube. Then, tries to come back a year later. I was done with him. Like this, this only lasted a few months. Like the whole murder thing, the whole bitch thing. Like oh, the whole shit was just, I was done. Um, he came back a year later, like nothing happened. Apparently I heard the girl dumped him and married someone else. So you think you're just going to come back to me like nothing happened? <sighs> anyway, I had to get my number changed. He was sending edible arrangements and balloons and I'm so sorry and sending his niece to my daughter. I'm telling you, leave me alone. I didn't, I wanted nothing to do with him. So, but what my whole thing is, he treated me good, like, you know, financially and shit, shopping, paying bills, dinners, on the flip side of shit, like, hello, you know, but um, he would disappear for days. It's just, I, I started catching on to it, but my whole thing is, the year later when he came back, he was not taking no for an answer. I had a home phone at the time because my dad was still alive and was calling every day, like 20 times with the dementia, and I said, daddy, just call and, you know, leave messages on the home phone, so he had that number too. Man, once I changed my cell phone, he was harassing, leaving message after message, threatening to unalive himself. If I don't talk to, I mean, narcissist to the hundredth power, thousandth power. Um, every play to try to get me back and try to talk to me, just to try to, you know, web me back in. No, I didn't. I wanted nothing to do with him, and I never said otherwise. I said, leave me the fuck alone. He ended up threatening me to put physical harm to me. That's how much he spiraled out of control because he wasn't getting his way. He would say, oh, I'm crying and I'm, you know, I can't live with what I've done to you. Oh, it was a full Oscar performance. I mean, it was all acting. He's so sick. When I say sick, um, and he was not my type. He was short, ugly, but you know, I thought, okay, I'm in my forties. It's time to settle down. He didn't have any kids or whatever. Yeah. Cause he was in fucking prison for 12 years. That's why I didn't have any fucking kids. So anyway, long story, like it's more to it. So, once he made that physical threat, I went to the police. I used my cell phone to record the, the house answer machine. And I went right to the precinct. Like, I don't got time to fucking play. Like, I was busy in my life doing shit. Like, nobody was even thinking about this fucking troll. So, once I went to the police and they knew he had a prior conviction for murder, they automatically give you the order protection. So, I got the two-year order protection automatic. No questions asked. And, and they arrested him for one night. They arrested him 
and he went to jail for one night. Then he left me alone. I had a two-year order of protection. Um, and the sickest part, too, one of my girlfriends went to Atlanta for that CIA weekend or whatever it's called. And she ran into him at a nightclub. She didn't know him, but he was stalking me on social media. So he knew who, who she was. He jumped over the couch, she said, came up to her, said, take a picture of me. Send it to Chrissy. Tell her you're with me. Tell her the order of protection's almost up. You know, there's still still a chance we can get back together and this and that. What fucking delusional, sick planet are you living in? The order of protection's almost up? Like, we could get back together then? What? I told her. Stay the fuck. He's sick. Avoid him. Like, he saw her from stalking me. She don't know him. I'm telling you. <sighs> so my point is, with Kenny ranting I was completely just blindsided by this piece of shit like it wasn't like I picked him and like oh wow he's a bad boy he did time he he our first date he prayed over his meal he didn't curse total actor walked me to my car gave me a hundred dollar bill for gas I said that's not necessary he's like no there's plenty more where that came from thanks for coming out and this and that and his niece was at dinner with us. The one who introduced us. She was in on it. She knew he had a girlfriend too. The whole family fucking was in on it. This was my fault? My fault? I was just living my life. Like, cool. I was the one who was lied to and deceived. But, you know, this is what people from the outside looking in is, oh, you picked trash. How the fuck you know he's trash? He seemed like a decent guy when I met him. I had had a, his own his own business, everything. People lie. And I bet you that house is worth double now with the way the market is. What an idiot. He should have bought that house. Piece of shit. Mm-hmm. Get married. Sold, sold me the whole dream. Fucking loser. But you know what? God looked out for me. I dodged a bullet because I would have been miserable. I would have been divorced. I would have been in jail because, ooh, he was a demon.